Free for all trotters set to go for the eighth race. $153,000 Sumac Lad final, the richest ever. Scratch the five, classic, model sick. Race eight, trotters set to go, here they come. And they're off and trotting. Approved Action's up fast. Fool's Goal is out of there being put to whip Burging. He's trying to leave. Approved Action, Fool's Goal, and Softly Dream with Million Dollar Buy. Magician on the outside. Cut four wide, now three wide. As Fool's Goal goes off stride. Fool's Goal on a break around the first turn. And it's Approved Action. Regine Danyo to the front here. Million Dollar Buy is trotting second. Softly Dream the Mare is third. Magician is fourth. And it looks like Miller's tipping him out to move up. Three lengths to victory margin in the fifth spot. It's Psychic Spirit trotting sixth. Oakley Harrison is seventh. Super Grit is next. And then way back, Fool's Goal after the early break, 28 and one. Here comes Magician. Off stride went the two, Softly Dream. And now Magician sweeps to the front. Approved action trotting second. Million Dollar Buy third. Then a wide gap of some eight lengths to victory margin. He's getting whip taps in fourth. Two lengths to Psychic Spirit fifth. Another three to Oakley Harrison. Another two to Supergrid. And then it's Softly Dream and Fool's Goal. And a half, 56 and one. So it's Magician now. The ball's in his court. Miller in control leads it by length and a half. Approved action second. Million dollar buy stays in. Attacking first over. Here comes Victory Margin. And Michael Chance has that trotter in gear. Psychic Spirit up with cover now with Campbell. Is four, fifth on the outside as they approach three quarters. Super Grit now starting to kick in with his characteristic late charge. Pierce now is stacked up and to the outside as they turn home. And then it's Oakley Harrison, and on a break went Psychic Spirit, 126 and 1 for three quarters. In the stretch, it's Magician. Magician by two. And Miller still has the whip on his shoulder. Approved action, full out second. Million Dollar Buy is next, and then it's Victory Margin on the outside to the wire. It's Magician. He's in a world of his own. He's toying with them. Magician becomes Trotting's newest double millionaire here and defends his Sumac Lad in 154 and 1, a stakes record for Magician. The divisional champion from last year, 2000's top older male trotter. Coming off a magical million-dollar season with victories in the Breeders' Crown, the Arthur Cutler Memorial, the Sumac Lad here at the Big M. He wins it again, and the Maple Leaf Trot. And he beat the great moneymaker twice last year. Has come a long way from being a problem child to a professional racehorse. Originally an $11,000 yearling. Another bargain wins tonight. And he goes over the $2 million mark in lifetime earnings. Magician is a six-year-old now, a bay gelded son of royal prestige out of Incredible Charm by Incredible Neville, owned by William Augenstein of Plainview, New York. Trained by Earl Cruz. And for Dave Miller, another magical night with his fourth winner on the card. Making the eighth race presentation, Pierre Delory and Clement Fortier. Welcome to the Big M. Well, we're in the winner's circle here for the Sumac Lad, second year in a row. Only the second horse ever to do this. Go get lost in it. Now Magician win it back to back. Earl Cruz, tell us about the three months prepping Magician for his return to the races. Well, we don't do too much with him. But he kind of takes care of himself. Last year, or this time of year, he came back, and then he had a, his season mapped out for him, and it worked out perfectly. But that was with heavy competition with Moneymaker. Since she's not around this year, what about the schedule this year? There'll be something tough. Uh, it'll be a tough schedule. Is he, when's his next medal ends? A uh, couple races. I'll probably race them uh, maybe three weeks a month. Try to, try to get them before I have to qualify them. Try to race them. Difference between Magician as a six-year-old as compared to last year, is there any difference? Uh, not really. Hopefully he could stay sound. Okay, Mr. Rogenstein, last year you were invited overseas and you declined. What happens if they do it again? We'll be staying here again. Home field advantage worked to your, just the way you planned it? Home cooking. We like it that way, yeah. 
Now, what about the, the schedule, the tentative schedule? Last year you mapped it out and you did everything you said you were going to do. Yeah, we're going to, uh, let's see, attempt basically most of the same races. We got that classic series with the big bonus, and that kind of interested me kind of a lot. So uh, we're going to just keep them sharp a little bit, hopefully get a start or two in here before the classic. That's about six weeks away, and then run the classic series and uh, continue, continue on with all the others. And the Breeders' Crown, once again, we're going to give it a good shot. Can we expect to see a magician of last year, a, a repeat season? Would that be possible, or is that too much to ask? Hey, I hope I can get it. Uh, he looks as strong as last year. He probably looks a little stronger, actually, watching him, and uh, hopefully he stays with it. It's just a joy to come here every week and just watch it and be here. Okay, Bill Augustine, congratulations. Last year you won the only million-dollar Breeders Crown. You're back here in the Sumac Line Winter Circle Magician, making it two in a row in his Winter Trotting Classic. Top down for the eighth is 4-7-9, three scratch, 2-8, 1-6-5.